how you guys doing welcome back to the channel uh we are back with another negro league story this time we're going to be learning about john donald um without further ado hop into it what satchel page was for the negro leagues john wesley donaldson was for pre-negro leagues history early era of black baseball one of the greatest pitchers to ever toe the mound, a dazzling left-handed pitcher whose feats were, I guess you could say, something right out of a video game. Three consecutive no-hitters, over 400 verifiable wins, over 5,000 career strikeouts. And yet it's hard to believe that very few folks have heard of the great John Donaldson. Yeah, I must admit, I've never heard of that guy. That's actually crazy. 400 win, 5,000 strikeouts. Uh, pitch two innings. All right, so we're back on some pitcher moments. When in doubt, put a fastball. Ooh. When in doubt, hit the fastball. Next pitch misses inside, and that's ball two. Swing God damn! He lost the handle on that one. John Donaldson was really the cornerstone for this all nation. Bye bye. He was the primary pitcher and played the outfield on the days he wasn't on the mound. Marshall batting with one down takes the strike. Donaldson was just 21 when the All Nations team got started, and in his first oh game for them, he struck out 18 batters. And Boog, only three other pitchers have ever struck out 18 in a major league game at that age: Bill Gullickson, Gary Wood, and Bob Feller. Nice. Here, third base side, Perry makes the catch, and that'll do it. And welcome back. One more Jeff inning will be good. And there's the strike. Hall oh, of Fame manager John McGraw said Donaldson was the best pitcher he'd ever seen. And remember, McGraw managed Christy Matthewson for more than a decade. Swing and a pop off. To me, to me. I got it. 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 And it's caught for the out. Here's the third baseman, Taylor. That one's in there, 0 1. 0 1 for Taylor. I like this fastball. It's just. Back ball side corner. Mmm, that's pain. That's pain. And that's pain. Dude, dot on these corners, man. This is crazy. Next offering misses, and it's one and one. Line drive, and it goes just foul. Get out with the heat. Bye bye. Ooh. Outside corner high heat. So, so typically there's not another video. Yep, I was right. All right, this time I finally figured out after what five uh five storylines finally figured out there's no video after the second one after the first one. All right, pitch one inning. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Now it's the right fielder, Terry. And first offering is fouled off. The first year of John Donaldson's pro career was in 1911, and it was clear he was a special Dude. pitcher. He went 44 and three that season. And that was sweet. Got him for the out. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top level guy like this. Swings and mm. misses, it's a strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. I love those old time gloves. I'm powering suits, it's nice. Donaldson winds and fires. Gonna tie too. Alright. Hamilton. Good job, guys. Ball game. John Donaldson with a gem. Sing 
For those of you who may be hearing the term barnstorming for the first time, as it relates to baseball, it just simply means that they were taking baseball to towns and places around the globe that had not seen this brand of professional baseball. And the Negro Leaguers were heralded barnstormers. As a matter of fact, the legendary Satchel Page would credit John Donaldson for sparking his desire to want to barnstorm the country. John Donaldson was essentially a hired hand. Truthfully, it would be easier to tell you the places that he didn't pitch than it would be to tell you all the places that he did pitch. And it's so unfortunate that the color of his skin prevented this man from showcasing his dazzling skills against all of the great players in this game. You only wonder what if. What if he'd gotten his chance and just how special would John Donaldson have been? I, for one, to believe that John Donaldson would have been one of the greatest pitchers to ever play this game. Yeah, I still said it. But I'm glad now, you know, they're finally, you know, with the video games, finding life on these players. Really Here's good. Real what I gotta do? I'm sure I got out. Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. First offering and it just misses. Baby Ruth. Next offering is in for a strike. The great Bambi. Next offering is foul back. The Colossal. Bye bye. Got him. Donaldson fans the base. What made John Donaldson so special, number one, he was a softball. And he is likely the guy who invented what we now know to be the slider. Yet John Donaldson was throwing that pitch 20 years before anyone knew anything about it. He was hard to hit. No one had seen stuff quite like John Donaldson. Come on. Breaking ball through there for a strike. One more strike and we're good. Next One offering ball. down to the third. Come on. There we go. Gets him with the slur. John Donaldson could get the ball up to home plate as fast as anyone. And yes, it is true that one of his fastballs broke the hand of his catcher. I'm sure his catcher was not excited about that. And like a lot of the guys who were catching these guys like John Donaldson and Satchel Paige, you had to find a little something extra to create padding to try and protect your mitt with the catcher's mitt. And it was just hard for the opposition to catch up with that fastball of John Donaldson. Yeah. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go. Duh, to duh, duh. Duh. Come on, man. And that extends the inning. Oh, my God. Come on. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. John Donaldson's fastball would play in any era. Some newspaper writers I put it take that with going to what else heater and Rube had arguably the best heater in the majors at the time. And Donaldson rings him up for the K. Marshall in the box now. No balls in a strike. And that one hit to first. And that's just foul. And boom, that Donaldson fastball to go along with the slider. It just wasn't a fair match against the batters at the time. Kind of reminds me of a role as Chapman when he broke into the majors at the Reds. Just unhittable stuff. Next pitch is inside. And the count even one and one. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. No score just come on, come on, come on. The there we go. Got him. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. Bell stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next got it, I got it. West on his way over. 
but it's the pitcher that makes the play. Do a stuff myself. And a quick out number one. Taylor now at the plate oh, as he swings through strike one. Next pitch misses. One ball, one strike. And one and two. One ball, two strikes. Do this all myself. Come on. And now two and two. Bye bye. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now Gardner, first pitch, and he just misses. All right, come on, one more batter. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. No score here. Want to go high heat? Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Low heat. Nice. Throws to first, and that'll do it. When Satchel Paige says that he emulates you, then you pretty well know that he had to be a great showman, and John Donaldson was all of that and more. Like most who played in the Negro Leagues, they understood that this game was indeed entertainment, and Donaldson was the show, and people came to see the show, and he always delivered. This is where Satchel Paige got a lot of his antics, and we know the stories of how Satchel Paige would call the outfielders in and sit the infielders down, but try this on for size. And South Dakota, John Donaldson, one by one, started to call in his players to end up striking out the side. Yeah, you're out. He knew he had the stuff, and he wanted to show off that great stuff, and people flocked to see him do his thing. All right, quick two strikes, throw uh, in the dirt. Donaldson winds and fires. Pitch in the one dirt, ball. now one two and strikes. two. John Donaldson was to the Negro Leagues of the 1910s, what Satchel Page would be a couple of decades later. A completely dominant All right, two and two. With a tremendous sense of showmanship. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Gassed it right by him. And now Cole. <laughs> In there for strike one. Yeah, 1913, on. Donaldson had a run of 100 straight shutout innings, oh, and then he did it again in 1914. In the dirt. In 1915, he didn't one allow ball. a hit for 30 Two straight strikes. innings, throwing up four no dirt. hitters in a row. Just unreal. Next Two one strikes. in the dirt. Slider. Yes! And a miss. Struck him out. Back to back Come on, one more bat. This has been Two outs, base is empty. hard. I thought it would be. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Count one and oh. That's strike one. 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 No score just getting started. Top of the first. Yes. Next offering is All right, come on. Strike. Come on. Let's go. God damn, that was hard. <laughs> By the time John Donaldson gets to the Kansas City Monarchs, he is really beyond his prime. But don't get it twisted. John Donaldson was not only a great pitcher, John Donaldson was also a great two-way star in black baseball history and in the Negro Leagues with the Kansas City Monarchs. His skill set was incredible. A great hitter who you could rely on to come in and get the job done on the mound as well because he was indeed one of the great two-way stars of the Negro Leagues. Got to get three hits in two games. Here comes John Donaldson with a chance to do some damage. Shouldn't be too bad. On the ground, right side. Tosses the 60 power, 60 contact. Okay. With Donaldson's combination of hitting ability, pitching skill, and outright athleticism, there aren't many players who compare. 
Reminds me a bit of what Shohei Otani's done the last couple of seasons. In uh, the air, left side, two down. Well, we talk about five this guy's stuff has by far been like Julio the hardest. Who can do it all as everyday players. Well, Donaldson had all oh my God, that was on me though. Given how good he was on the mound. He even hit almost 300 for the Monarchs in 1931, and he was 40 years old. Let's get one hit here, man. There we go. And a line around into right center for a base hit. Bell around second, headed for third. And it bangs up against the wall. Bell around third. Relay throw home. And he's in there. A run comes in in the play. First pitch swing. All right. Out. And now here's the speed. All right, just need two hits. One more hit. We got it. Left center. He can't get there. It's a base hit. One runs in. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and they lead by two. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone, and he was Come clearly on. ready to jump all over. On a line, out towards center. No. And he makes the catch. And that is that. Come on. The wind of the pitch. Pull, pull, pull. No. I should get another at bat, most likely. But. Through the hole. Alright, this is it. Come on, John. <laughs> Thank you. There's the swing and a miss. The, the sheer down. magnitude of John Donaldson's stats is just nuts. Got a pitch three innings, can't give up a run. Anyone but Cy Young, more than 5,000 strikeouts, which only Nolan Ryan has done since. And he pitched in more than 750 cities across the United States and Canada. Aye. Murray batting with one down. Takes a strike. Comes up empty oh, on the swing. Fastball in, in the lower 90s now. Oh, there we go. That was weird. No hitters. Even through three straight no-nos in 1915 as part of that run of 30 no-hit innings. And he struck out 30 batters in a single game Come twice. On. Hayes in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. All right. This one popped up. Two more innings. Little makes the catch. And that'll do it. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Bates. Ah, oh, three runs. Oh, okay. That's easy. I'm just going to spam fastballs if I can give up three runs. Next pitch has popped up. Sutton settles underneath it. Thank you. One down. Hughes stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Thank you. Foul ball still 0-2. Donaldson delivers. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Come on, get him. Dude. Come on. Very early. Like, what are you doing? Ground ball the middle. That's fine, whatever. Left fielder, Glass. And that's in there for that a sinker. R1. Double play here. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close there we go. Double play. You know, at the very least, if you can oh, back. Way to manufacture that run nice. Across, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ball game. And that will end the inning. Nice, 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 nice. Next offering is foul back. Bounce to the right. Nice, two more outs. Whips it to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Mixed up in the box now. No balls in a strike. Come on. Next offering is in for a strike. Next offering is foul back. Next one is off the plate. Take. It's a ball and two strikes. There we go. 
So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Mason, got to get something going for him with two away. Mason, I'm sorry, but I'm playing you three straight fastballs. Yeah, that pitch was dotted. So much talent on display when this guy's out there on the hill. Break him up with the fastball. Next offering is fouled back. All right. Probably slide down on you. Nice. Oh, the throw is wild. Hey, yo, game. Hey, yo. Come on, man. Like, seriously. And that's strike one. Next offering is fouled back. Thank you. John Donaldson slams the door for KC. James Leslie Wilkinson, who owned the Kansas City Monarchs, believed that John Donaldson was the greatest pitcher in Kansas City Monarch history. He was a left-hander with a dominating fastball, great curve, and a full repertoire of other pitches that, like most great pitchers, he could absolutely throw everything for strikes. Now, mind you, J.L. Wilkinson had Hall of Famers Hilton Smith, Wilbur, Bullet Joe Rogan, Jose Mendez, and of course, the legendary Leroy Satchel Page. And he was perhaps the most fond of John Donaldson. Now, part of that may have been because John Donaldson made J.L. Wilkinson a lot of money because Wilkinson was literally hiring Donaldson out. And it's seemingly everywhere that Donaldson went, he dazzled. Yeah, he was a special, special ball player. And it's hard to believe that a ball player of this magnitude, very few folks have ever heard about. Another great story down. That was, that was a good one. Um, look at the stats really quickly. Hey, four secondaries. Nice. Perfect. Well, I thank you guys for watching. Once again, we are coming up to the end. We have one more person, Martin D. Higo. Is that his name? Hopefully that's right. Um, but thank you guys again for watching. We'll see you next time. And uh peace out.